28, 2020, the Baton Rouge Police Department would receive a 911 call. This call would be in regards to a group of people filming a music video on Chippewa Street. The people in this music video were allegedly a part of 4K Trey, a gang rumored to be ran by rapper NBA Youngboy. The police transcript goes as followed. 911 operator, city police emergency. Complainant, yes ma'am, uh, I'm calling. I have loved ones live over there. It's on with this little rapper or whatever. They got so many of them over there, with Uzis and AKA guns, just walking up and down the street. Where is this ma'am? On Chippewa, right off of 38th Street, going towards Foster Driveway. And you said they walk in them down the street? Yes, ma'am. Can you give me a description of anybody that has a gun? Who? They got dreads. Um, twists in they head. They black males and... So how many did you see? About seven of them. So every last one of them had a gun in their hand. Uh, all the ones I seen. And we got a lot of older people. Senior citizens. Homeowners. And which way were they going? They just... They stand in in front of a house. I don't know if it's the boy, grandparent, or who. You didn't see the address they standing in front of? No, ma'am, I didn't see that. Is the house on Chippewa, or is it on 38th Street? It's on, it's on Chippewa. You turn off 38th on Chippewa, going towards Foster Driveway. You said it's on the end, going towards Foster? Yeah, it's on, it's right off 38th. Once you turn off 38th, coming from, uh, Chokta, and you turn right. Okay, I don't know which, I don't know which way they're coming from. Well, they'll know, cause they all, we always calling them out there, and I just hope they don't wait till they leave, cause that's, you know, too much are going on over there. Okay, you want to be contacted? No ma'am, no ma'am. Okay, alright, I'll get somebody to go check it. Okay, thank you. When the police arrived on scene, many individuals would begin to flee on foot. David Kennedy, a Baton Rouge police sergeant, was able to grab one of the individuals by their shirt. He then ordered the rest of the people on the scene to sit down before detaining them. Another officer would then place NBA Youngboy in the back of his police car. The street crime unit would then arrive to help with the on-scene investigation. The on-scene investigation would reveal that a man by the name of Marvin Ramsey ran away from the scene. Marvin Ramsey, aka Rich Porter, is NBA Youngboy's photographer and videographer. When Rich Porter got caught, he was in possession of a firearm as well as a black Sony 7R camera that contained an SD card. The street crimes unit then applied for a warrant to search a Cadillac Escalade and an Acura SUV found on the scene. Judge Tiffany Foxworth Roberts issued the warrant to search the vehicles at around 7 p.m. The search revealed a firearm found inside the Acura SUV. A camera bag for Rich Porter's Sony 7R was inside the Cadillac Escalade. The camera bag had SD cards and magazines for the gun Rich Porter had in his possession at the time of his arrest. Authorities would then request for another warrant. This warrant would allow them to search the camera, SD cards, and the MacBook Pro found on scene. The search would reveal many images of NBA Youngboy holding the firearm found on scene. The Baton Rouge police would then arrest NBA Youngboy along with 15 other 4K Trey members. The other individuals were Maro Batty, Charles Brown, Daryl Brown, Joshua Butler, Kendrick Edwards, Cleveland Ellie, Anthony Grayer, Jalen Griffin, Nathan Hayes, Diana Jacob, Dalton Quiet, Marvin Ramsey, Joseph Robinson, Deontay Smart, and Tyler Taylor. Police would also seize 14 different firearms. One of the firearms was allegedly stolen. Two of the firearms allegedly had illegal stocks. $79,000 was also seized from the arrest. With $47,000 found on NBA Youngboy himself. NBA Youngboy posted a $20,000 bond the following day and left jail. Youngboy later went back to the county jail to bond out eight more of his friends. NBA Youngboy would start living in Tarzana, California after bonding out of jail. In California, NBA Youngboy focused on nothing but music. He released an album called Top that peaked at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. Meanwhile, the Baton Rouge Police Department was handing over his case to the FBI. They were working together to indict NBA Youngboy on several federal criminal charges. 
This was all under a federal operation called Never Free Again. On March 22nd, 2021, FBI agents went to arrest NBA Youngboy at his home in Tarzana, California. The agents started the arrest process by staking out his home late that morning. Agent Desmond Beverly then saw NBA Youngboy get inside a Mercedes that was inside the garage. Police vehicles would then turn on their lights to let NBA Youngboy know they were there for him. NBA Youngboy proceeds to flee in the Mercedes, heading south on Amigo Avenue. Youngboy would drive for about two blocks before surrendering to the K-9 unit that gave chase to him. There was no injuries to NBA Youngboy or the dog. Police would then detain NBA Youngboy and begin searching the Mercedes Maybach. They would end up finding a loaded tan firearm behind the passenger seat. NBA Youngboy was then taken into custody for the September 2020 arrest in Baton Rouge. Youngboy would also receive a new charge for the firearm found in the back seat of the Maybach. NBA Youngboy would remain in jail for seven months before he was able to be free on bond. The conditions of his release required him to fork over $500,000 in cash. He would get the money back to him upon completing the required conditions for his release. One of those conditions for his release was 24-7 home confinement at his home in Utah. After nine months of home confinement, NBA Youngboy would finally go to trial for one of his two cases. This trial in particular was for the firearm found in his Maybach in March 2021. In court, NBA Youngboy's lawyer would claim that he ran from the police because he was unaware that he had a warrant. His lawyer also argued that Youngboy was unaware of the firearm being in his vehicle. The prosecutors were also unable to find NBA Youngboy's fingerprints on the firearm. The judge, Robert Gary Klausner, would also rule against using NBA Youngboy's lyrics in the trial. The three songs were Gunsmoke, Lonely Child, and Life Support. Prosecutors claimed that these three NBA Youngboy songs talked about the gun found in his car. These songs also had lyrics about the jewelry found next to the firearm and a man connected to the firearm. Youngboy's lawyer would claim that the songs in question were for entertainment and was not an admission of other bad acts. It was also revealed during trial that a juror confessed their love for NBA Youngboy. Mo Gungit, a lawyer present at the NBA Youngboy trial in Los Angeles, California, tweeted that the judge asked juror number seven, is there any reason you would not be able to decide fairly in this case? In which juror number seven responded with, I love NBA Youngboy, and I would decide in his favor. Juror number seven was then excused from the courtroom. In the end, NBA Youngboy was found not guilty by the jury on July 15th, 2022. He still has another upcoming federal trial in Louisiana. That trial is for the September 2020 arrest in Baton Rouge. If convicted, Youngboy could face several years in federal prison. NBA Youngboy's lawyer still claims that Youngboy is innocent of all charges.